All right, I'm back once again with something pretty cool. Um, I had one of these, of course, when I was a kid, and I really enjoyed it. And uh, anyway, I, I saw one on eBay the other day, and I was like, heck, I'm going to get one. But this one, um, it's a koala pad set. I used to draw, gosh, when I was in my mid-teens, I guess, on it. And uh, I did a lot of pretty cool stuff. I recreated, of course, the Ghostbusters poster and an Ultima uh, Five Pulse poster and some other cool things. And uh, Anyway, I saw this one on there, and I thought it was, you know, pretty cool. I hadn't even opened it yet. Doesn't look like it's pretty cool. It looks like it's ruined, actually. Wow, that's definitely not what I thought it was gonna be. But anyway, it might still be usable, but I doubt it. Looks like it's been in some pretty serious heat. And this is the little plastic pad that was on it. And it's coming all off of there. So, yeah, that's not good. So I don't think it'll work, but I'll give it a shot anyway. We'll, we'll clean off this outer part and see if it'll still work um besides that it's in good shape <laughs> it just looks like it's been sitting in the box for years i don't think anybody ever really used it because it's not dirty but the heat damage obviously up in an attic or something got this stuff really brittle there's no sense in leaving it on here so i don't know if it'll work now I'm not sure if that actually has to make contact with the pad itself or what, but we'll give it a shot in a little bit. And I didn't pay a lot for it, so if it doesn't work, I can still look around and, and find a, a koala pad that works. Hopefully this one will. We'll see. We'll give it a shot. But it's got the, uh, the pen and the um, cartridge. The booklet is still sealed in the pouch. It's never been opened. <laughs> so it hasn't been used, it just sat around and unfortunately, and it looks like it just got messed up. Hmm. I'm curious if it's gonna work without this little coating on the top of it. Hmm. Well, anyway, I'll give it a shot. I'm gonna clean it up real quick and we'll fire it up and see if it works. All right, we got it all cleaned up and uh, looks really good. I don't know if it's gonna work without that cover on it, but we're fixing to find out. So I'm gonna take off the little twisty tie here. All right, now. It's just that tight, ain't never been plugged in. And we're gonna break the seal on this. Oh, it's painful. <laughs> you can find these koala pads pretty regularly, but you can't ever find the little uh, stick that goes with it, a pin. So let's plug in my cartridge here. Okay, I'm gonna fire it up. See if we get anything. Yep, there we go. I never had the uh, cartridge when I had it before. I had the floppy disk. But uh, we'll see what happens. I don't guess it has sound. Not too bad. Awesome. All right, let's see what happens. If we click some buttons over here. Uh oh, I ain't got the button in the right spot. I had to take this thing apart. 
So stop the video. I'm gonna have to this button when I Okay, so I had to loosen up a screw on it. I had it down too tight. So I don't know if this thing's gonna work or not. I don't think it will. It doesn't appear to be gonna work. I don't see any cursor. From what I remember, there used to be a cursor that would come on and you would just control it with this little stylus here, but it's not working. Is it going port number one? Let's see. Yep, that's where it goes. It goes in port number one. Nah, still not working. I see the little thingy, but it's not working. Yeah, no go. Definitely a no go. But um, it's in good shape. So what I'll try to do is find another koala pad and take the the pad out of it and put it in this one. You know what? I might have put that thing in there backwards though. I just thought about that because I when I took this thing apart, it had a little. Um, just keep rolling. I'm gonna get my screwdriver. I've never opened up one of these before, so it was new to me. But let's uh, see what happens if I reverse this little ribbon cable that's in here. I might just have it wrong. Not very many screws, so. I think that outer cover is mainly just to protect this little pad that's there. I don't think it really served a purpose as far as, you know, making it, make contact and and move around and if that's the case then I could probably find something else just to put over it and we'll see all right so if you look in here this just lays down right in here and then this ribbon cable is in there and I probably could have put that in there wrong see it could go like this <laughs> I might have just put it in upside down so we'll see we'll flip it over set it back in here and that's what happened I just had it in upside down well that's how I learned most everything is by doing it wrong the first time so, um, yeah, that little piece that came off of here was just obviously a little protective cover. So I'm going to get like a nice thin piece of vinyl. My wife has a uh, vinyl that she uses for t-shirts and stuff, and I bet that would work uh, just to put it over the top of here to protect this little, this little pad. So I'm going to get one to put on there, and uh, that'll probably work. Because from what I can tell, I don't remember how you do this. You have to go down. There you go. You hear that little beep, and you push it, and this is your drawing screen. And then you just hold down your button, and you draw. And I remember, you can zoom in and out with this thing. Because I used to zoom, 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 zoom to draw all my really good details. Like this, and then I'd add all these little colors to make the details, and... It was a painstaking process to draw out. I wish I had those pictures. I had a whole disc with some pretty dang cool pictures, and I wish I had them. But I'm going to play around with this because uh, I'm glad it works. I mean, I'm really happy. So we're going to get a piece of vinyl real quick, and I'm going to cut it and put it on here so it'll protect it. And we'll finish up this little video. Okay, so I got some of the vinyl. Um, it's, I, she didn't have any black, but she's got this nice dark gray. So I think that'll, that'll work really well. So I'm going to take this, uh, little pad out here. Line it up the best I can. So a video that was about getting a koala pad set is turned into a koala pad restoration project. But anyway, we're going to cut down the side. I left the 
koala pad program running over there. That's that beep, beep, beep sound. Okay, so we got our little piece of vinyl here. And it doesn't have to be perfect because the edges of this pad aren't even out in the area that you use, just the black part. So I'm going to try to separate it here. And this stuff is super sticky. Oops, got an air bubble. All right, there we go. Still got air bubbles everywhere. That did not go very well. All right, let's try it one more time. Never done this before. So, just trying to do the best we can. Let's see what we got. Looks better this time. Yes, much better. Still a couple of little ones down here. Try to push them to the edge. Yeah, I think we're okay. Is it perfect? No. Is it better than it was? Yes. I'm going to trim this extra off the sides. All oh, that beeping's getting on my nerves. Okay. So, anyway, we're going to leave it at that. It does have a couple of bubbles. I'm going to take and just poke through the vinyl. There we go. Just a touch to get those air bubbles out. I don't know if y'all can even see them. It's hard for me to see them. There we go. Man, that works good. Just barely poke a hole through the vinyl. And those little bubbles come right out okay so put it back together should look pretty sharp did i leave the top over there i think so i think that's where i left everything so we'll go back over here i'll put it together we'll give it a try and make sure it's working I'm gonna plug this thing in so it'll quit doing that. It's driving me crazy. There. Okay. Cable back in place. Buttons back in place. Top. make sure that she's still working oh yeah that works great so not too bad so I got a gray koala pad instead of a black one I don't think it matters pretty nice so anyway that's so cool I, I bet I haven't seen this in 25 years it's the first time I've loaded up koala pad uh, program in about 25 years so that's really cool it brings back a lot of a lot of memories very cool stuff so anyway i'm gonna put the screws back in this it's, it's done that does not look too bad there are some tiny tiny bubbles in here uh you uh, yeah you can kind of see them 
but I think we can get them out with the little razor blade trick or, or even if it matters now, it doesn't really matter. Cause it's not stopping the, even if I go right through a bubble, it's not stopping the, the stylus from working correctly. So no big deal, it's working. Well, that's cool. I was able to save that koala pad. I didn't know what was gonna happen when I saw that mess when we opened the box, but that looks pretty good. So anyway, till next time.